Well, here we are in Tulibuck, and uh, this is our first uh, our first show we're going to do on this uh, on this particular tour. And uh, it's a lovely little town, right on the Murray, and just uh, a couple of k's, maybe five k's from from Victoria. So we're still in New South Wales, and uh, we've got the show. Uh, it's about uh, eight o'clock, I think, now in the morning, and we've got the show at one o'clock. So we start setting up and getting all the production ready about um, about uh, nine thirty, ten o'clock. And uh, everybody comes in and has lunch, I think about 11, and uh, then we do our, uh, do our show. But this is what it's like on tour. Here we are, and uh, it's, uh, it's just a lot of fun. Here we are, we're sort of backstage. There's a uh, guitar here, look at this. <laughs> And uh, we're pretty much ready to go. I guess maybe another 10 minutes and uh, here we go. But this is the sort of backstage areas we have. You know, there's, uh, they're, not, they're not big. A lot of these places, are, their uh, backstages are pretty tired. There's a stage up there. And uh, we're on in just uh, a little while. Well, in the villa, in a little old Well, here we are in uh, a little town called Charleston, on our Charlton, on our way to um, to another place called Bort. Hello, and uh, yes, it's quite early in the morning, and then we're off to uh, off to this little town called Bort for a show at around about one o'clock. Yeah, and the show we did yesterday went uh, went well. It was great. People came from uh, miles. They bust them in from lots and lots of different places, and uh, uh, it was good. It was a great, a great show. And uh, here we are here now. I think we're like uh, maybe 200 k's from where we were yesterday, and then this morning um, uh, we've got another, I guess, another 150 k's to uh, to the place that we're going to play today. So it's wonderful out here on tour. You can see, look, there's just absolutely hardly anything out there. Look at this, look. Just beautiful. At the back of the motel and the pool. I mean, it's just so beautiful in the country and silent. Shh. Hardly anything, just the, uh, just a few uh, miles and miles in the distance, just the, uh, uh, some trucks that now, uh, that go by. Anyway, that's uh, giving you a little bit of an idea of what uh, what goes on on our uh, on our little country tours, our uh, country tours to the seniors. These are not the the big theatre tours that we do. These are a very uh, tiny little towns. Um, we do pretty much once a year. We go and do these places. Although every uh, every second year uh, we do the uh, we do the theatres where we get much more uh, uh, many more people and we go to bigger towns. Give you a bit of an idea of where we are. You can see out here the railway line goes off into uh, into Neverland, and uh, it's just so peaceful out here. Seven degrees, mind you, it's cold, and it's uh, a little bit early in the morning, but it's just absolutely beautiful. What about that train line, huh? Off into Neverland. Okay, we're on the way. Well, this is what it looks like to me most of the t most of the time of touring. One is um, behind a wheel, not on stage, and this is what it pretty much looks like. Like, for example, look, the road's going into absolutely nowhere. So we see it. So we either see it with trees on the side or with no trees on the side. But usually the trees are going into nowhere. And the things we've got to watch out for are actually are birds. Unfortunately, we've already hit one, but we come up to when you come up to the birds, you. Um, they fly in front of you and you just hope to, uh, to go and of course the windscreen at the moment is pretty clean but uh, although you can still see a few of the insects but sometimes it's it's uh, it's really clogged up but uh, you've got to stop every now and then just to uh, to clean it off and another thing you've got to be careful of when uh, on the tour of course are the trucks lots of the big trucks and some of them might they go over to the side to uh, to make it a little bit safer for you whereas others they don't really care at all they just uh, 
go on. That's a smaller one. Most of them out here are the uh, the double ones. In fact, uh, yesterday I saw a triple one. But anyway, this gives you a bit of an idea. And in front you can see actually an orchard because we're passing a lot of orchards. Well, here's the uh, the dressing room in one of these places. Look at the size of this one. There you go. So it's uh, it's quite big. And uh, we go out here a little bit further out here, and this is the the back the backstage. You can see. See there? Quite a big area. Yeah. We're all setting up. Still haven't done that. Still, still setting everything up. So it's all going, as you can see. That's the merch, and that's uh, well, they'll have all those chairs filled in there, and this uh, this hall will be popping. And uh, memorial halls. That's what this one is. And it's just. Wonderful, right? a wonderful joy for me to come back and play these same places that I played 60 odd years ago. And <laughs> in a way, the same audience sitting there, there. Of course, they were 12 and 13 and 16 and 17 and whatever back in those days, whereas today they're in their, uh, their 60s, 70s, and uh, heaven forbid, even in their 80s, like, uh, like me. Yeah, the buses come in, see, they bring them, bring them all into the buses. There we are. And of course, uh, this is uh, back, back into the, um, the dressing room, which is like another hall itself. Look at the size of it. There you go. Yes, beautiful. And the wonderful echo. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. Hello. Well, since my baby left me, well, I found a new place to dwell. Well, it's down at the end of Lonely Street at Harpery Hotel. <laughs> now look at these little girlies. Look, 1967. I wonder how many of them are going to be sitting in in my audience today. They more than likely, when they were uh, uh, six six years younger, they would have been sitting in my audience maybe when I was here way back then. Here, yeah, board. This is it. The first plane actually here. They said when nine. 1919. Wow. Long, long time ago. Yes. Oh, who's this I find? Oh, hello. Hello there. Are you a local girl? No, I'm actually not. I'm You're a not? fly-in, a ring-in. You're a fly-in? I'm a ring-in. I'm a ring -in. <laughs> actually, I came here under duress. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was transported in an El Grand. Oh, and, dear. Uh, but anyway, but it's always fun to Well, you survive. That's the main yeah, thing. Yeah, but it's always fun coming to these, honestly, places that are just, to me, yes. so beautiful, aren't so they, clean. They are. Aren't they glorious? And people look after their dear little homes so gorgeously, yes. if that's a word. So true. And the, um, the ambiance is something else. You don't, in the cities or in the suburbs, you really have no idea yeah. about what the sun feels like or the cool air. It's yeah, gorgeous, it's lovely, loving it. Beautiful. Getting your coffee, okay. what about that? <laughs> well, there's nothing like sitting in the sun in a beautiful um, coffee shop. And just because you're going into these tiny little towns, it doesn't mean that there's not um, beautiful uh, coffee shops. Because they are. Every, every town has got at least one of them. And we found one here, it's called the Honey Bee. And it's absolutely <laughs> Absolutely beautiful the food and the coffee is to die for. There, is, there, there they are over there. All the folks, all the local folks are here. They all come, all come here. Beautiful place. And uh, so there you go. So if you're, you're out and about in the countryside, don't be shy and uh, not go in and have a lovely coffee. The sad thing about these towns is the fact that they, uh, they're dying. They're dying every town we go to. They're all so many empty shops. Look at this here. There's in one, two, three, four, five, six, six shops, and they're all empty. I mean, such a shame. Such a shame to see them. They're beautiful old buildings. Look at look at this, the size of this building here. Look. In this tiny little town, if you looked on the map, B-O-O-R-T, you see it's right in the middle of nowhere. Just like a little old western town. You can see the, uh, when this would have been a dirt road, and of course there was the old hope, the 1914 little hotel. That one's actually operating. So it's the only hotel in town, but it's uh, operating. Most of them, there's 
There's only one hotel operating. They're nearly all gone. Some of these places that uh, the last place we were at, Charlton, had five hotels, and some of them really, really big, with big ba balconies around, and they're all closed, except for one in the middle of town. It's just very sad to see these towns dying. And look, they're all empty here too. All except one news agency. That's it. The rest of them are just empty. What a great shame. Great shame. Because they're lovely places. They really are. Look at this. There's a railway crossing down there. And of course, here, um, got to watch the traffic here because it's just uh, uh, beyond. It's really, really amazing. Look. Careful, here comes a car. Here we go inside the hall. Mm. Look at that. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Uh -huh. Hear that lovely echo in here? Hello? Hear that echo? Yeah, back in, uh, in my days, in the 50s, we used this was the rock and roll um, echo that we all used to have. Oh, okay. And when we were recording, we would do everything to try and get that same sort of uh, rockabilly echo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing? Good. No, I tell you can see in the back there, they're all, all, uh, all set up. Everything's, everything's like on a roll and all the seats. You can see all the seats there. I think there's like something like 300 people uh, ready, to, um, ready to rock here. And uh, we'll have, hopefully have some, uh, some, some fun. I don't know about too much dancing, rock and roll or dancing, but they, they get into it. They sing along the songs and all that stuff, which is the main thing. So here we are actually now in, uh, in Yuchuka, about uh, 200 miles, 200 k's from, from uh, Lock uh, to, um, the place we did yesterday, Bort, and uh, it was a great show, it was a tremendous show actually, uh, pretty, much, pretty much full, but they're different shows to what I normally do. These are, these are senior shows, they're put on by the councils and uh, uh, there's to, to virtually give all the, the older folk who don't go to regular shows, a chance to get out and see, see different acts uh, around the place. And we've been doing it down here for, oh, maybe 10 years. We've done maybe 30, 30 odd towns through uh, Victoria every year, and we, we love to do it. And these are, these are uh, uh, people that were fans of mine many, many years ago when they were 12 and 13 and 15, 17, whatever. And now, of course, they're in their 60s, 70s, and, uh, and even in the 80s. So it's, uh, it's wonderful, and they enjoy it, and, uh, and I enjoy it. Anyway, that was, uh, that was bought last, uh, uh, yesterday. Then uh, uh, today we're in uh, Yuchuka. And then tomorrow we're in a place called Lockington, which is uh, just down the track from uh, from Yuchuka. So that's uh, that's good. So anyway, we're going to uh, a little bit later on today. We're going to go on the uh, on the ferry. Well, actually, it's not a ferry. It's a uh, it's a, uh, a paddle steamer. One of the old paddle steamers that used to go all the way up to uh, to my place, where, where we're from, Colorinabray, and uh, up through Burke and Warren or up through there. But uh, of course, they don't anymore. But they're down here on the on the Murray at Yuchuka and. Uh, uh, we're going to go for a, a little bit of a ride on that. So um, here we are, still rocking away on tour, and we'll uh, we'll catch you a little bit later on. Okay, bye. Thank you. 
Well, here we are, we, um, and yet another morning from uh, another motel. Endless, endless motels. They just they, they roll on and on and on and on and on. Anyway, today's uh, that's the first day out of about uh, what five days or something that uh, it's actually raining. Nice, soft, gentle rain. See up there? That's the sky up there, and it's um, but it's a nice change. It's still a lovely temperature. And uh, it's raining. Anyway, today we uh, we go off today to um, a place called um, Lockington, and Lockington is um, just north of Bendigo, and between um, Yachuca and Bendigo, and it's uh, it's quite a small place. Last time we were here in Yachuca, which was about oh maybe four years ago, just prior to COVID, we did um, we did the Paramount Theatre, which is a beautiful theatre, gorgeous theatre. And uh, we did that, but uh, evidently what's happened, the council have told us that they um, somehow they had to sell, they owned it evidently, and they had to sell it, so they sold it, and uh, the people who have it now charge um, uh, like two, three thousand dollars to uh, to rent it, which is a normal what most theatres um, charge, two, three, four, maybe five thousand dollars even. And um, so they said it's just a little bit too much for their seniors, and that's why they, uh, the only hall that they could find that they owned, that council owned, was um, in a town about, oh, I guess it's something like 30 minutes, I think, from, um, from where we are here now in um, Ichuka here. So we're looking forward to that show. It's a little bit early now, but we, uh, we like to get up early and uh, wander around, maybe take a little bit of a walk. And that's what you do on tour. Yeah. Anyway, we'll get back to you a little bit later on. Okay, hope you're enjoying the ride. See you. Bye. Well, one of the things that you do most, of course, when you're on tour is fill up with gas. Uh, you just uh, keep going. Of course, these days, gasoline is quite expensive. You're paying up to uh, $2.30 out here in the, uh, in, the, uh, in the back blocks. Suzanne is the, uh, is the keeper of the card, so she goes out and does the paying, and I, uh, and I fill it up. Well, here's our trusty um, uh, GPS. Without that, you'd be lost out here at... Uh, at times, most of the time, okay. Well, everything's pretty much well, well signed, but sometimes it's not, and so you really, uh, really do rely on it. Yes. Okay. All right, we're off. Here we go. Lockington and uh, as you can see there there's a, the stage of course we're all setting up and having to get everything to uh, to go but it won't be long they'll get, come in they'll put the, uh, the chairs up and uh, and off we go I think maybe 300 odd people today so that's uh, that'll be wonderful. Is she with you? Is she? Yeah. Oh, all right. Okay. Hello, hello, how are you? Here. So, good. I hope you're going to enjoy the little show that we do. I don't pay no union dues. I smoke, watch the games I have found. Sure, I'm not too big around that mouth. Well, here we are, another motel, and um, we're just about to uh, just about to head off and uh, packing. That's all you seem to do on tour is pack and drive. And uh, the um, uh, the time on the show, on the actual stage, is the the smallest amount of time that you you do on the whole tour, which is quite uh, quite amazing. Because we've been together uh, out here now for seven days, 
Seven days on the road and I'm going to make it home tonight. And that's about, that's about it. We're on the way home. Okay, here we are outside the, uh, the motel room and such a beautiful day. Goodness me, it's still only, uh, what is it, five degrees. So it's, uh, it's nice and brisk, but wow, what a lovely day. We've been very, very blessed, except yesterday on the way um, from um, Yachuca or Lockington, it was a lot of storms, a lot of rain. Boy, they've had a lot of rain there, a lot of, uh, a lot of floods around the place. Uh, Rochester evidently was flooded out until last week, and uh, um, a lot of rain, pretty much maybe three quarters of the way, all the way from, uh, from Lockington to here, which took us, I think, maybe three and a half hours, something like that, three, four hours. Okay, so um, we're off, and um, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed the little uh, tour we've got. At least it shows you something of what happens when we, when we go on tour. It's not all glitz and glamour. It's uh, lots of stuff, more time spending in gas stations, uh, coffee shops, of course. On the road is the main, uh, the main time. And uh, uh, different motels, big rooms, little rooms, good rooms, bad rooms, all over the place. And uh, wonderful audiences. We've been very, very blessed to have lovely audiences and uh, people who remember me from the stadium and six o'clock rock bandstand and people who still come to our shows in uh, Tamworth or in Sydney whenever they whenever they see us around. So it's absolutely wonderful. I'm I'm absolutely incredibly blessed to have uh, to have this wonderful life and to see these lovely people and and talk about the lovely experiences that we all had. Okay, that's about yeah, that's about it. Lonnie Lee on tour, pretty much over and out, and I'll do it again. Seven days on the road, and I'm going to hit the road tonight and go home. <laughs>